people have a pool party. And Ray comes to the agent from whom he bought this house. Ray's wife asks him, I have heard that the pool was closed for 15 years. How is it possible that the people who lived here for so many years did not use this pool? The agent says that a girl had drowned here many years ago, about whom people started talking nonsense. People started getting scared of this pool. And then no one ran this pool. Ray's wife says, was that girl's naming Rabica? The agent was shocked that how do you know about this? This name was actually told by the pool to Ray's wife. During the pool party, everyone was enjoying. While Ray's son was recording everything that was going on in this pool party with a camera. Because he didn't want anything bad to happen here. Ray, who was in the water with a child at this time. Suddenly, he sees a black shadow in the pool. Which went inside him and possessed him. As soon as he comes under the control of that black shadow, Ray goes into the water with that child. Ray's son, who was watching all this, notices all this and comes down and tells his mother. These people saved the child in Ray's hand. But the child with whom Ray had gone into the water was his coach's son. The coach was very angry. He could have filed in fire against Ray. But Ray's wife tells him that this must have happened because of Ray's illness. Ray's condition had also become very strange. He was also doing strange things. That's why his wife locks him in the room. And she starts researching on the girl who is drowning in this pool. She finds out that people have been disappearing in this pool for centuries. After knowing this, she herself was in fear. She first removes the water from this pool and then goes to Rebecca's mother and asks her what happened to Rebecca. And your son, who was very sick, how is he completely fine today? And how did he become such a big man in the city? First of all, this woman says that whatever you are telling is a lie. I didn't have a son. But by forcing Ray's wife more, she starts telling a story of a wishing well. A story of such a well, by putting coins in it, people's wishes would be fulfilled. Because the water of the wishing well was magical. And that's why that water was worshipped. But there is a twist in the story. Whenever someone used to wake this water up to fulfill his wish, then this water would ask for a price. And Rebecca's story was that her brother was very sick whom we saw at the beginning of the story. Her mother wanted to cure him. That's why she asked for a wish from this water. And she paid the price of fulfilling this wish by giving her daughter water. In simple words, she sacrificed her daughter to cure her son. Ray's wife notices that this woman was crying. Something possessed her. And the water here was also strange. She gets scared of all these things and leaves. But now she had also understood that she had filled this pool to cure Ray. Ray will be fine, but this water will gulp one of his children. Then the scene shifts to home. We see that Ray's both children are looking for their parents. And that's when Ray's son hears his cat outside. He goes out to check. He is surprised to see that the pool was filled with water again. This bothers him because he knew that his mother had emptied this pool. He goes ahead to check the pool, and then again he sees his cat sitting on a tube in the pool. To save him, when he goes inside the pool, something pulls him inside the pool, and the cover of the pool starts closing. Ray's daughter, who is watching all this, goes out to save her brother. And in the meantime, Ray's wife also comes here. Both of them start trying to open the cover of the pool again, and Ray's wife asks her daughter to go and call Ray for help. But inside, Ray was badly possessed by some evil power. He had taken it in his control. And that's why Ray attacks his daughter too. Here, Ray's wife puts a pipe in her mouth and jumps into the pool, so that she can save her son and breathe through this pipe. When she goes down from this pool, she faces deep water. She finds her son here, but she also sees a lot of ghosts. All these ghosts were scaring her. She tries to escape from them. But she couldn't find the way out. And here, Rabica's soul helps her. She drops a coin into the water. Ray's wife took her son out of the pool while going in the direction of the coin. But now his son was not breathing. She was trying to save him. And that's when the possessed Ray comes here. And he tells her that you won't be able to save your son. As soon as he says this, 
He also grabs his wife by the neck and lifts her in the air. Before he kills his wife, his daughter hits his baseball bat on his head from behind. His daughter tells him to come to his senses, and that's when Ray remembers the good times he spent with his family. He vomits, and the evil spirit inside him comes out. And the evil spirit that came out of Ray had turned the water black. Ray had now understood that someone would have to go into the water and make a sacrifice. He himself goes into this water to save his family. And this water had accepted him as a sacrifice and given his son a new life. And in the last scene of the movie, it is shown that Ray's family was missing him a lot. They had now decided that they would live in this house for the rest of their lives. So that no one ever wakes up the water in this pool again. And neither does this pool kill anyone else. With this, the story ends here.